Hey, what is up, Flav City family? It's Bobby, and today for Kitchen Basics, I thought I would open up the old pantry and share with you 10 essential spices you need to have to rock tasty and healthy recipes at home, and share with you three awesome recipes using those spice rubs. These are spices that are always in my pantry, and they allow me to create meals during the week with tons of flavor, no additional fat, or no additional calories. But before we rock that, today's video is a collaboration with my good friends over at Thrive Market. I think this is like the fifth video I've done with them. It's because they are the bomb, okay? You go to thrivemarket.com and you search their amazing all natural organic products and it makes healthy living affordable and easy for everyone because everything is 25 to 50% cheaper than retail stores, which I absolutely love. Plus, guess what? I don't have to leave the house. I order online, the box of goodies comes to me and I can be hooked up, especially when it's getting cold out. So it's really cool because you go on the website. It's very easy to navigate and you can search by values or by categories. There's over 80 of them, such as keto, vegan, uh, gluten-free, non-GMO, and you can add anything you want to your cart if you add over $49 worth of products, the shipping's free. And these are some of my favorite items I get. I always get the Thrive Olive Oil, Extra Virgin, the Coconut Butter, my favorite product though ever is the Thrive Organic Grass-Fed Ghee. When you use my promo code down below, you gotta get this stuff because it smells like movie theater butter popcorn, but this stuff is real, it's not fake. So once again, they hooked me up with an insane promo code down in the description box for 25% extra off your first order and a 30-day free trial. If you're a member already, there's daily deals on the homepage. Just go there, try it out, I know you're gonna like it. All right, let's start with the 10 essential spices I think y'all should have in the pantry. Let me get a few more here. And number one, if you guys are a Flav City fan, you pretty much know, Art, what's number one gonna be? Smoked paprika. Smoked paprika, okay, take a look in here. I wish we had smell-o-vision, because the smell coming out of this spice jar right now is amazing. It's the same as sweet paprika, except the bell peppers are smoked and dried and then pulverized into this powder. And the amount of flavor, almost the depth of flavor it adds to dishes is unbelievable. All right, for spice number two that everyone needs, it's cumin. I have it right here in my Thrive packet. By the way, all these spices come in the Thrive Starter Spice Kit. It's 15 spices, all of which I have in my pantry and you guys need to have too. Cumin is the second most popular spice in the world. It's kind of lemony, it's kind of bitter, and it adds a great depth of flavor. Uh, number three is gonna be coriander. Coriander's right here. Once again, I wish you had Smell-O-Vision because it kind of tastes like burnt orange, and I don't use it quite as much as cumin because it's more strong. I usually use half as much uh, coriander as I do cumin, but this is a must, and my gosh, you just open the lid, and the aroma is unbelievable. All right, then next up, we love dried thyme because you can't always get access to fresh thyme or just you forget to buy it. Dried thyme is always good to have in the pantry. Just use half as much as you would fresh thyme. And then you gotta have onion powder and garlic powder. We'll be using both of these to make an Italian spice rub in about a few minutes. And then cinnamon. You guys might think of cinnamon as dessert, but as you'll see in a minute, we use it in savory spice rubs. It's very common in like Arab countries to use this, along with cloves and, uh, and uh, star anise. It's phenomenal. All right, next up is ancho chili powder. Look at the color of this. It's just like rustic, kind of red, brick red, and it's not too spicy, right? It's kind of like a starter chili. I consider it like a spicy raisin. Um, if you don't want that, you can get the Thrive chili powder that comes in the starter kit. Obviously, black peppercorns are a must. Please don't ever buy pre-ground black pepper. It starts to lose its flavor immediately. Just get a pepper mill. Or as Art was just saying, if you're an SNL fan, what, what is this, Art? Uh, you like it, the, the pepper boy, I like it even <laughs> And finally, we have curry powder. Now, curry powder is a very general term. There can be up to like 15 or 20 different spices in there. A lot of the spices in there are like cumin, turmeric, coriander, a lot of the essentials here. I like ones that are very yellow. So if I was gonna use this one in the Thrive, I would supplant it with a little bit of turmeric to make it super yellow. All right, so those are my 10 essential spices that you have to have. Now I think we should make my 
smoked ancho coffee spice rub that goes on some skirt steak that is absolutely delicious. Let's start with just over a tablespoon of freshly ground coffee, one tablespoon of ancho chili powder, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a tablespoon of the ground cumin from Thrive, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground coriander, one tablespoon of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then give that a good mix up. Oh man, the aromas coming out of this bowl are, smell this. It smells like a pit master or like a, a smokehouse wood, right? And we're gonna take advantage of that in a minute. So I saw the brown sugar go in here and you're thinking, oh no, it's not keto. But if you use keto brown sugar or stevia brown sugar, it is. And also the cool thing about the spices from Thrive is they're organic and non-GMO. Everything on Thrive is non-GMO. So really, I want you to get hooked up. Use my promo code down in the description box for 25% extra off your first order and the free shipping. It's a ridiculous deal. Now, to tap into that pit master smokehouse kind of feel, we're gonna put this on some skirt steak in my skirt steak meal prep that is delicious. And here's how you do it. Season five eight ounce pieces of skirt steak with a generous pinch of salt and a half of the spice rub. Flip over the skirt steak and do some more salt and more spice rub and then set them aside for 20 minutes so the steak can come to temperature and that marinade can really get down and do its thing. Now it's all about a hot cast iron pan. So preheat one with a good shot of avocado oil and then put half of the skirt steak in the pan and let it cook for four minutes undisturbed. That way it'll make a nice crust. Flip it over and look at that. See what I mean? That spice crust just infused into the meat, that awesome coffee and the cinnamon and all those yummy flavors. Let it cook another three to four minutes and get it out and cook the second batch. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, otherwise the steak won't cook properly. Make sure you slice the skirt steak against the grain. That way the meat just melts in your mouth. Place the steak in a glass meal prep container. Scoop over some roasted Brussels sprouts and some roasted sweet potato fries. And there it is, a skirt steak meal prep with that delicious coffee spice rub. I'll put that recipe down below in the description box. Now to store your spice rubs, just put them like in an airtight container like this. Or what I like to do is just transfer them to a little glass ramekin. And then you can cover this with uh, plastic wrap, stash it in the pantry, and you can use it whenever you want. Now here's the deal. Ground spices start to lose their flavor only after three to six months. So it's actually better to buy small amounts of spices as opposed to those huge containers you might see at the warehouse club because the flavor on those will go down before you can even get halfway through. So I only always buy like two or three ounces. When I run out, I order more. That way I always have fresh spices. All right, that one's done. Let's make our Italian spice rub that is really easy to make. Add a teaspoon of garlic powder to a bowl. Then add one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of sweet paprika, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes. Give that a good mix up and then transfer it to a storage container just like the previous one. All right, look at the color of that. I just love it, right? That red paprika, the onion and garlic powder flakes. Now, what can you use this for? You can get some serious Italian flavors going with my chicken pomodoro meal prep. Another crazy easy one to make. Here's how you do it. Season five chicken breasts that have been butterflied with a generous pinch of salt, a few cracks of black pepper, and then half of the spice rub. Flip the chicken over and hit it with some more salt, pepper, and spice rub. And then push the chicken aside for 20 minutes so it can come to room temperature and that marinade can do its thing. Put some olive oil in a cast iron pan and then sear three of the chicken breasts for about two to three minutes, just until they're crusty on the outside but not cooked all the way through. Do that in two batches so you don't overcrowd the pan. Place the chicken breast in a baking dish and then cover it with some homemade marinara sauce and then a good grating of Parmesan cheese or Pecorino Romano. This stuff only has one gram of fat and 20 calories per tablespoon, so be generous. And then pop that in the oven for about 10 minutes so the chicken could cook through. Now look at that chicken, isn't that nice? The chicken soaked up all that tomato sauce. You have that nice melted cheese on top. Finish the meal prep by putting the chicken breast in a glass meal prep container, along with some barley risotto that has veggies and some wilted spinach with lots of garlic and the meal prep is done. All right, for the last spice rub we're gonna make, it's my Caribbean spice rub that has all those kind of island flavors. I kind of got inspired by a uh, spring break trip a long time ago to Jamaica. In between all of the Appleton rum and Red Stripe, I remember very fondly eating Caribbean jerk chicken out of an old oil barrel on the beach was unbelievable. I actually made this recipe with Rachel Ray last year. It's so, so easy to make. Here's how you do it. 
Add one teaspoon of garlic powder to a bowl, then go in with a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Give that a good mix, and then transfer that to a container. Season five chicken breasts that have been butterflied with a good pinch of salt and half of the spice rub. Flip the chicken over and then do a little more salt and some spice rub. And then push the chicken aside for 20 minutes so it can come to room temperature and that marinade can do its thing. Preheat a cast iron pan over medium high heat and then add a couple teaspoons of avocado or grapeseed oil. And take a look at the chicken. You can see how that marinade really soaked down into the meat. Add three of the chicken breasts to the pan and then don't touch the chicken for about four to five minutes. See that crust? That's the spices just searing into the white chicken meat and creating so much flavor. So flip them, let them cook another three minutes, and then get them out of the pan. And then once you cut one of those chickens in half, look at that, right? The spices form that beautiful crust. And to finish the meal prep, add the chicken breast to a glass meal prep container. Add a scoop of kale, black bean, and pineapple salad, and the meal prep is done. Does anyone else feel like this is an episode of Narcos? <laughs> We have enough powders and other stuff floating around here to make Escobar jealous. I should be wearing a, a mask. Well, that's it, you guys. We just rocked three delicious spice rubs using organic, fresh, high quality spices from Thrive. The coffee spice rub is my favorite. Put this on your skirt steak. Heck, put it on chicken, pork chops. It is gonna change your life. Also, browse around their website. I mean, I only buy my conditioner now because conditioner goes on my hair and makes it silky and smooth. Oh really? <laughs> We've done so many Billy Madison jokes today, it's ridiculous. Um, but the promo code is real. Down below in the description box, an extra 25% off your first order plus a 30 day free trial and 25 to 50% cheaper than the grocery store. And you don't even have to leave your house because the big green box comes to your door. All right, you guys, that is it. The spice rub recipes are down below in the description box. Check out my other Thrive videos, including keto, uh, chicken salad, and cloud bread streaming below me right now. But I will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, or as Pablo would say, sigan cocinando. Mad love, peace.